my main goal with this is like, I really want to max this out to get up to 500 RPM. This can't do it. That can. Okay. And that can, that can go way beyond 500 RPM, but 500 to 600 RPM was our goal and we way surpassed it. As it spins up, it, it doesn't need so much power, so it'll kind of lose it. Uh, but you'll hear a, a drop in sound and then typically the roller flies off. Okay. So Sorry, this is just your standard roller. So you're going to spin this up for us and then at a certain RPM, it'll, it'll go quiet. It'll so get quieter. Yeah, you'll hear it. It's probably around 570 to 580 RPM. Too. Because they don't have the copper jackets, they they don't behave as good as I'd like them to. But having two on there kind of balances out, so it's not shaking like that. Okay, so it's two hundred ten. Three hundred thirty nine, four sixty five, five hundred forty five, just somewhere about here it starts to go. So it does have a little bit of play up and down, but it wants to keep it at a certain level. Oh, yeah. So those are just very standard, normal magnets. These are uh, the ones I'm working on right now. Do, do you want to describe oh, it? Yeah. For, yeah go for so, it. Uh, this is the Sater unit and it has the 288 points uh, in each magnet. There's six, six arc segments, and in total there's 288 sprockets uh, drilled and glued into each one with uh, different strengths, uh, different heights have different strengths, uh, all ranged in a beautiful little pattern like this. <laughs> uh, so basically this represents one, one segment. Uh, this would be the okay. north, and that would be the south, and they face out that. this direction while this is going up. So you have two different directions at the same time. Just like that for this six of these on this one Seder. The magnets uh, are the rollers I'm working on right now. I've got four four rings drilled out. So basically with these rollers will correspond to this pattern. So as it rolls over, it matches these points. Uh, the strengths go up and down on the roller segment. Each segment will have 16 sprockets on it mm, okay so now, it all forms a pattern with the strength values and i have one of those set up right over here and you can see it on the magnet paper oh okay oh yeah so that one has 17 points but you can easily see it and so you can see what's happening okay so that is one of the sprockets mm -hmm. You can see when we put the magnet paper over it, it lets you see. So that is the serial magnetic striping, kind of. That's kind of a sine wave. So Searle, he ended up making 
this sine wave pattern using a special secret method uh, of including a Tesla coil with his magnetization process. Yeah. But this is a different method where... So the sine wave is actually embedded into the magnetization of the... With, with little um, magnet pins drilled into and fit in all around there. So the different magnet pins have different strengths so that you can kind of have stronger and weaker and get that pattern. N55 is all the way down to an N38 and then up back up to an N55 and then down and up and down. Yeah, well, is there anything else you wanted to describe on these? Um, well, I, I'd like to turn this one and show it just so you can see sure. it actually going. And this is, I, I mean, this one only like does about 180 to 200 RPM max. They they don't fly off or anything. Okay, so in this case, you're powering it from yeah. the just the, the just drill the battery, battery pack. Yeah. And with these temperature sensors, uh, they measure the... Uh, The sensor is measuring the temperature on the core and the other is the That's what we, we believe is happening is as it's rotating forward, you're having a, a magnetic oscillation and it's going the opposite way. Uh, that's one of the reasons I didn't, I've seen with most of the other replicators is that they mechanically link the rollers all together. And what we believe is that they treat it. The rollers should be coming out for themselves. And so that's what I'm doing with this. And so rollers can figure out where to wobble. They have all this wobble and play. Nothing's locked down. The magnets are doing it to themselves. So just keep it as natural and fluid. It does have a fluidity to it. And so we're just keeping that. There's a minimum speed where it doesn't like to go below. Yeah, it starts to kind of... It starts to wobble and shimmy a little bit. Yeah. Or you start seeing like the rollers, they, they start hitting against each other. So that spot where you can kind of see the rotors squish together, that squishing travels backwards against the direction of flow. And so when you speed it up, that backwards squish travels counter to the direction of spin. So it's kind of like you have this reverse current. You know, the rollers are traveling in one direction, and the current is going the opposite. Probably something screwy with one of these, but once it, there we go. Once it overcomes that, it, it really builds up the speed. It's it's probably doing about 150, 180 RPM. They all keep their distance uh, equally. Uh, as long as there's enough power on these electromagnets, you know, they, they flow quite well. And these are just industry standard magnets, and so are the rollers. The centers are unmagnetized. It's just the rings on the rollers, and the stator is magnetized. Uh, these weights are pretty close to being the same, you know, within a gram accuracy. Uh, the lights are mirrored for... Um, Basically, whenever the electromagnet is pulsed, the light, the white turns on, and whenever it's off, the blue is triggered. Okay. And the camera's not really picking, it, it, it's not showing, but you can see them pulsing with the eye. Yeah, it's pretty fast. The 
soon. Well, how long did this take to build? Three, four months. Quite a lot of work. And this was just the one of the very first versions. We used laminated steel instead of just solid iron, and that greatly enhanced the, the strength of the electromagnet. Uh, these strands, and there's eight eight wires per strand per per wrap. Instead of just using one wire and repeatedly wrapping it, we divided the whole entire segment into eight. So that the it's a great, a much stronger field instead of just one wire continually wrapped. Uh, it lowers the resistance, definitely. And the MOSFETs are getting hot. That's the only thing on this version, the MOSFETs, MOSFETs would heat up pretty fast on some of them. Some are cold and others are like, yeah, that one's pretty hot. Ah. 